Well, every day matters that you can get from the weather, but ultimately the weather just dictates what you get. And you know, if we schedule a three week trip and we can get one week, seven days of workable weather, that's kind of like what we're expecting. So we have to try to maximize every moment we have when the weather gives us a shot. Right now we've been stuck at the dock for five days. And that's because the animals that come from this region are so important that we're willing to come here and maybe only get a chance to work for one week out of three. It's what the scientists need to button up their science, to nail down things like where they could potentially be mating, where they could potentially be birthing, and where they're gestating, especially these big females, right? So it's important for us to get them samples here so they can collect that data. And, you know, things that continue to build on it over the years are when you sample a Hilton down here five years ago and you get a massive sperm sample with mature sperm, right? That's the only one we've ever gotten in the North Atlantic. And then when we test our hormone levels on our mature males and females from, from here, higher than in other places. And then you see tracks like that just happened where you have Mahone and Breton basically moving from their summer fall feeding aggregations up north directly here to the Carolinas and pausing and then big mature female Nagumi doing the same thing, pausing for a little while, then making a big move offshore, which our theory has always been that that's where they go to gestate. So why do you stick it out? Because these sharks are priceless. If we get these guys just two more sharks, three more sharks, they'll have publishable, defensible science that can be leveraged for policy, and we will solve the life history puzzle of the North Atlantic great white shark.